The reason I said no to you when you first asked me out. Do you want to go to dinner, dinner with me? Mm -mm. And the six times after that. Hey. No, no, no. Is because I'm moving to Brazil. We get to examine Lillian's life in one episode. And so I want to take the audience on a journey into that interiority and into her emotions. So we're making like visual choices based on how can I get an audience to feel where she's at emotionally. She told me I had three wishes. When it falls off my wrist, those three wishes will come true. <laughs> Do not cut it. <laughs> it's really hard to bring yourself every day to a role, and Lakeith absolutely did that. You know, it was through pre-production, production, and post-production. You know, bringing his own experiences, his own thoughts to it, and just every day, just a level of commitment that was sort of astounding. Yeah, and for me, he, you know, he's not really in my episode, and we were in the middle of shooting a really powerful scene, and shout out to Jared, one of our actors, was gave his all and everything, and I was completely immersed in the scene, shouted, cut, turned around, and Lakeith was there. He'd come to set just to kind of support this episode, support his fellow actors, and just his kind of caliber, one of the best actors of his generation. It raises everyone's bar, so he's an amazing anchor to our show. I need to know where my wife is. People don't just disappear. I came on it having read the novel, and thinking the novel's sort of brilliant and was this wonderful piece of sophisticated genre that dealt with really interesting issues and was set in this world that you really don't normally see. You know, it was explained as a kind of adult fairy tale that swept in magic realism and horror and suspense and the thriller. And then you're looking at the range of caliber of talent attached to it as well. It's a really rare opportunity to do something elevated, premium and challenging. You don't see. But you will.